Good afternoon, evening, morning, whenever it is that you're watching this. Welcome to Streetcar Shenanigans YouTube channel. Uh, today we're working on something that is not a Mustang. So we want to give you guys an update on what we're doing. Uh, in the second half of the episode, you'll see us finishing up the red car because uh, the rest of the fuel system components came in. So we'll show you what we've changed on it. Um, and we're just waiting for intake gaskets still. I think they're going to be here tomorrow. Uh, but otherwise, that car is going to be pretty much wrapped up by the end of the day tomorrow, uh, which you guys will probably see in this video, or at least to the point of where we're, all we need is intake gaskets. Uh, but what we are working on is... Uh, this is a, I think it's an 87 Grand National. Although it's not really much of a Grand National anymore. You can see it's slammed on bead locks, fuel cell, battery, meth injection, which is leaving, but it's there. A little bit of laundry in the trunk. And uh, this thing is pretty nasty. It came from Florida. Uh, it's a friend of our Lou's and he just purchased it. It is a solid roller, forged bottom end, stock block, six liter, trick flow heads. Um, it's got a 81 millimeter Borg Warner tur turbo, 81 or 85 or something. It's in the grill, it's pretty sweet. Split radiators to get around the charge piping. No intercooling system aside from the meth injection, and he doesn't really want meth injection. So we're actually gonna remove that and put a Tick Performance air to water intercooler on it. So we'll be working on that. It has a Holly Dominator with a Pro Dash and boost control. Oh, we got no power. Oh, there she goes. Pretty sweet. Has 850 cage in it. Not certified yet, but doesn't see any reason why it wouldn't. It has aerospace component brakes in the front. It has Willwoods out back. We just weighed it. It weighed in at like, so it is full street car, full steel. Uh, looks sinister as hell. And all we've done to it so far is we're just kind of going through it, not bolting the chassis underneath, making sure heim joints are straight and clean. Uh, corner balancing with the anti-roll bar in the back. Um, it has coilovers in the front. The ride height is pretty square all the way around, so we're not really gonna me mess with that too much, which is good. Um, we're just gonna kind of clean some stuff. Uh, we are adjusting the anti-roll bar, making sure that the rear end centered in the car, and then we are going to X, do our X measurements to make sure that it's gonna drive straight down the road. Um, and then probably it'll end up on an alignment rack at some point, but we just wanna make sure that it looks, everything looks really close as it is. Um, Otherwise, I think that's it. Oh. And then last night, we started looking at things that we want to address aside from the air to water intercooler installation. Uh, and we saw that the exhaust is kind of, mm. and they did a really good job with all the stainless and getting everything. I wish that these had some slip joints on them because the wastegates are plumbed back into the exhaust. So it'd be preferred to have like a slip joint on them so they can kind of expand and contract. Um, but otherwise, the, the aluminum was sitting on the frame rail, which it's pretty close still but it was sitting on the frame rail and then the muffler itself was like tucked up against the floor. So it was hitting the floor, the frame rail, and then the actual exit of the exhaust muffler was right on or like into the trans cross member. So I'll show you that. Unfortunately, we don't have any before pictures, but here's what it looked like after we redid it last night. Turned out pretty good. Now it drops just below the trans cross member. We did pie cuts just to get the complex angle correct. Turned out nicely, it sounds good. And considering what the combination is, it's actually really quiet. You guys will see it here in a second. We'll start it up for you uh, once we're done messing with the suspension. But yeah, another, another car that we're gonna be messing with this year. So it's kind of a little introduction for you guys. You guys will see this a lot because it's he's good friends with John who helps us at the track. And uh, this is where it'll kind of get a lot of its modifications done and any chassis changes we'll be in control of. So it'll be another fun one to play with this year. All right, second half of this video, we are making some progress on all the projects that are in the shop. So it's pretty cool. Uh, all of Snex fuel system is in a box and on the blower. So that's gonna be big this weekend. Uh, the blue car has made it back from the dyno and we are getting rid of the wretched gear wine that it had. Unbelievable, couldn't even talk in the car over 60. 
Brutal, brutal. So we ripped everything out. Um, the car is going to be a little bit more street than he originally built it as. So we are actually opting to take the posi, or I'm sorry, take the uh, spool out of it. It's at a 35 spline spool. We're going to take that out and we're putting an S-Track in it tomorrow. So that's why it's still apart. We're putting a new gear and an S-Track in it. We're going to make sure it's all set up right so it doesn't make as much noise as it did. And uh, get this thing back on the street, back to the owners. It still has some minor quirks because of the size of the injector and the intake tube and all this stuff all mi mixed together, but it's just gonna take driving it to really fine tune it from this point forward. Uh, it's really good, it's really fast, really excited about what it's gonna do this year. Uh, I wanted to bring you guys an update on the Tramp because Dan has been working on the fuel lines. Uh, he got these clamps he designed all made to hold the lines and they are yeah, it's simple, but it's it's pretty sweet. You know, no uh, self tappers. We ran all the lines together. Got another one there. Everything tucks up nicely. Looks good. And that actually completes the fuel system for the tramp. Oh, we got one. Huh? We had this one. Oh yeah, we gotta get rid of this bolt here. Lots of zip ties holding the fuel lines into this car, but that's okay. Um, no, so we mostly the zip ties that hold the lines together. They don't really hold it into the car. Yeah, that's true. So we got the new the new pump, new filters, everything ran for that. Now that's all kind of together. We got a 12 feed up from a 10. We got an 8 return up from the 6, and then a little bit bigger pump, bigger injectors. We put the 110 rear springs on it, so we got to adjust the ride height for that because uh, I'm sure it's going to be slammed now. It's the way it's set up in the back. And that's actually going to conclude the updates on the Tramp for the bottom. There's not going to be anything else that we're doing underneath this car, uh, unless, you know, through the season it needs something. But it's all set up and ready to go. All we got to do is an oil change and spark plugs. And uh, we ordered intake gaskets for it. And we ordered two sets because we have a spacer. And the box says two, and the invoice says two, and the packing list says two, and there's only one in the box. So we are extremely, extremely disappointed with CJ Pony Parts right now. So yes, smear in the name. They fucked us on this one. So that's that. And then uh, we'll wrap up this video. I'm gonna go outside, start up the Grand National, pull it in so you guys can hear it running. I told you guys I'd show you that. Um, and then that's gonna be it. So this weekend we'll be getting that thing off the lift, waiting for intake gaskets, and then it's going to ASSC to get tuned on E85. This thing's getting a fuel system, and this thing is getting the hell out of here. So, pretty exciting this weekend. So, smash subscribe down below. We'll obviously uh, see you guys in a second. Start the Grand National for you guys, see what it sounds like. Two Magna Fuels.
All right, guys, that's a wrap on uh, this video. So we have a uh, tick performance heat exchanger co or intercooler coming for this thing. We got the air to water box getting figured out. We're gonna put a new intercooler pump in it. Then we're gonna run all the AN lines. It's gonna have dash 16 lines with bulkheads in the trunk, so it's gonna be finished really nice. And uh, this thing's gonna be pretty sweet. So we look forward to getting it on the dyno over the next couple weeks. We should have it wrapped up here over the next few days so it can get out of the shop. Uh, but it was a quick little project that we're uh, helping a friend out with. And we're pretty excited to see what it'll do. Uh, we weighed it, it's got a good front to rear weight bias for radial racing, and it's got some good power. As you just saw go on the brake, it is warm. Um, the car's warmed up, so it's not like I did that cold, but um, it went, went on the brake like right away, no problem, made like six pounds of boost right away. So it's probably got about a six pound spring in it, I'm gonna assume, because the, the CO2 bottle is off, uh, which is good. It's, that, that, that'll all work out really well, so. Anyway, you guys saw the update on some of the projects in the shop, and we'll see you guys in a couple days with the next video.